Hello Average Engineers, today I just had to do a video, it's been a while, but I ran across the post on LinkedIn from someone at Databricks and I commented on it and it kind of blew up a little bit and it just got me thinking, got me a little mad to be honest, and so I just wanted to do a video about it and talk about it. The title of the article posted by an architect at Databricks, which is a big deal if an architect is posting something. It's basically a blog about using notebooks for production data pipelines. And of course, that made me angry the minute I heard about it. The minute I saw it, I just, you know, I had to go for a walk, man. And so I commented on it, and of course, a bunch of people liked my comment. Some people were against some. I had 16 replies to my comment on this other, on this guy's post basically he's saying I did this blog use notebooks and production it's awesome and I my comment was never use notebooks for production pipelines it's expensive compute and leads to me you know it's just a really bad thing at least people messing with notebooks not treated like normal code we'll get to that later it's just a really bad idea don't do it and of course 16 replies to mine later and I didn't really read them. I don't care that much, but I just wanted to talk about why that's a terrible idea. So anybody who's been around Databricks knows that one of the things that made them popular was they made Spark really easy to use. I use Databricks every day. It's an amazing platform. They have notebooks, kind of built off the popular Jupyter notebooks. Everybody's probably familiar with those. Databricks has notebooks to interact with your data. And... You know, in the beginning, everybody used them as just like R&D tools messing around. And I think you talk to 99% of engineers and they're going to tell you, no, do not use notebooks in production. It's a really bad idea. Why? Because engineers should be writing code and repos that, you know, have a f small unit tested modular functions in a repo with test right next to them, testing those methods and functions. Those get deployed and run as jobs. Uh, and by the way, it's way cheaper on the Databricks side right? if you run a notebook on all-purpose machines, clusters, the cost is astronomically higher than if you run jobs, something like 60% more. I don't know if that number's right. It's way more. I mean, so you're literally just throwing money out the window. And everyone knows that using notebooks is a bad idea. Why? Well, because anybody can mess with a notebook. People just write a bunch of crap in notebooks, you know? That's the whole point of notebooks is to be quick and easy R&D. It's a very great entry point for analysts and data scientists who maybe aren't the best at coding. But you should never put those in production. That's never what they're meant to be. And anyone saying that has obviously never worked on large data teams. And if there's large data teams using notebooks as production pipelines, shame on you because you shouldn't be doing that. And, you know, they argue that, oh, yeah, you can put the notebooks in repos. You can do all the same things with notebooks. That's just dumb. No, you can't. You can try. You can, like, force it in the hole, right? Can you force a square into a round, whatever that saying is? But it's just a super bad idea because what it leads to is anybody being able to touch the notebook. Anybody can write whatever code in the code they want in there. They can touch it, mess around with it, and this just notebooks have always been that way. Anybody who thinks otherwise, again, just doesn't have any experience and has never worked with notebooks on a production level. Code should be written in utility function files. They should be put in Python files. If you write in PySpark on Databricks, you should be writing functions that are easily unit testable in a repo that have a Docker file behind them so you can test them, unit test them locally. You don't write, you don't do that with notebooks. Why would you? It's not what it's made for. It's not what their intended function is and never has been. And to use them, and for somebody at Databricks, an architect, to say that people should use them, I mean, come on, I hope people know better. I'm assuming most data engineers do. There's a lot of people that agreed with me. You should be putting your code, not in notebooks, normal Python files, split up into small unit testable functions that are reusable, that you can move around. You don't flip and put copy and paste crap in notebooks and say that's production just because you can. They're making you spend a lot of money and they're trying to lower the bar barrier to entry, which of course they are. Any company would do that. I'm not going to blame them for that. I use Databricks notebooks every day. Every single day I use them, and a lot of people on my team use them. But that's not the point. They're used for R&D, for research, for testing things, messing around. 
they're not for production. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. I'll get off my soapbox, but people may ask, well, why, you know, can I back it up? You know, I don't really need to back it up. Anybody who's been an engineer, data engineer for any amount of time knows that you should not be using notebooks for production. Don't do it. And I don't care if somebody from Databricks tells you to do it, then you should probably think twice about it. Think now, why would they tell me that? So I got to spend more money, you know? So, right. <laughs>